Hey folks, how we doing out there tonight? So, I've done my research, I have went on Google Earth Pro, and I've gotten all the waypoints that I want off that. The one thing I can't see are the man-made brush piles. So, your state may go out and plant brush piles for you. You don't even know it. So, I went on my state website, and I found the GPX files, and they also have the KML files. I believe that's for uh, another sonar manufacturer. But they got the GPX files that I could just download. It's real quick and simple, and I'm gonna show you how to do it. So stay tuned, we'll get right to it. So the first thing I did, I went to the State Parks and Wildlife page and went to the fishing section and started looking around. So you can see here you got locations of fish habitat. And as I scrolled down through here, I seen the GPX and KML files. Ooh, Lake Conroe, I could have used that last year. Anyway, it's a really good site and really good spot for information. All right, so let's go ahead and find the lake that we're looking for and get it downloaded onto our smartphone. There it is. All right, so we're going to click on that and we're going to download it. Now we got to go to our smartphone and find where our files download to. Uh, my particular one, I've got a files folder and you can see it downloaded there. All right. And there it is, six waypoints that we got off the uh, state website. Now from your files menu, go ahead and select the Active Captain app to upload the uh, information into. Now I'll go ahead and open up my Active Captain app and import the file that we just made. And yes, I do want to. Now once the file's imported, you may want to sort it. I sort it by distance because I know that uh, those waypoints are going to be pretty far away. And they show up as gray dots um, when you first download them. So that's kind of what you'll be looking for. I've got like 417 waypoints. So I had to sort it out a little bit. If you are going to download your waypoints, I hadn't figured out how to how to segregate and download just a few at a time. Uh, when I went to download, I got all 417. And I'm not going to give all my honey holes to my buddies. So i got to figure out how to do that so I can uh, share some of my community holes with my, with my fishing partners. So if you want to go back in and, and uh, edit these waypoints, Go into your Active Captain app and go to User Data, and then select the uh, select the waypoint you want to change. And this one, I'm going to go ahead and rename these. I'm going to call them Welsh BPs for brush pile. And so the first one will be Welsh BP1. And I'll go ahead and uh, we got six new waypoints from the state. So I'll name them one through six. And the icons, that's, that's all personal preference, guys. Uh, I use the underground tree for a brush pile. Um, you know, it's, it's wh whatever icon you want to use. I did go back later and put a different symbol on these. I put it as a lay down, which is that symbol with the laid down tree. But again, it's all personal preference, what's going to make it easiest for you to find. So you may be asking, well, well Rick, why are you showing me this on a smartphone? I can do that on my computer and pull the chip out of my out of my unit and just download it off my computer. 
And yeah, you can do that, and that's probably a better way to do it. But the way I look at it, I wanted to show it to you this way, because if you're out on the lake, and you discover that you can download it with your smartphone, then you don't have to go find a computer. You've got everything you need right there with you to get these waypoints downloaded and start fishing at community holes. Because that, that's what these are going to be. Everybody in the state can, can download these. So basically they're going to be community holes. But it gives you a place to start and maybe you can get a few bites and figure out a pattern. Alright, so now go ahead and get into your settings and turn your Wi-Fi on and communicate with your unit. So now go ahead and get back into your Active Captain app and go ahead and synchronize. I will warn you when you go to synchronize one of these chart plotters like this if you haven't updated in a while it may take a little bit of time so uh, a good plug for keeping your keeping your unit software updated if you enjoyed this video hit like and subscribe let's get out on the water and have a great day